I mean, you're just standing here looking at this. This steel looks like a, doesn't look like a leaf blower. It looks like a robot. Mm -hmm. You can't even tell that that's a gas tank. Yeah, see now swinging the tube back and forth. This is way lighter. What's going on everyone? Thanks for tuning in to this video. What do we have here? I'm asking you. The biggest and the baddest backpack leaf blowers on the market. These are the top models of each of these three brands um, and the top models on the market today. Um, we are gonna be going step by step, whatever which way you wanna word it on each machine here to which one is the biggest and the baddest leaf backpack leaf blower in the market. Uh, of course, these aren't going to touch the stand-on leaf blowers, but uh, if you're just in the market as a commercial contractor, landscaper, or even a homeowner, uh, you might be a homeowner with a large property. You just want a, the biggest backpack blower on the property. You'll have it for the rest of your life. Check this video out. Watch till the end, and we're going to have a part two video coming within the next day or so of seeing this video. Um, so basically, yeah, basically this is going to be our first impressions on this. Your first impressions on the three machines. What we see off the bat and what we think is going to end up being the answer. But then uh, tomorrow when we shoot the real deal, we'll put them in action heavy and, and see what, what we the deal like is. And yeah. what we don't like. Yeah. Um, and what we don't like, some people might disagree with, but that's fine. We want everyone to leave their comments down below. Some of you might run Echo from day one. Some of you might have run Red Max from day one. And some of you might have run Steel from day one. Um, we'll tell you right from here, we have been Red Max people our entire lives, um, our entire business lives, and our entire homeowner life. Um, we just Red Max is what we've used for our trimmers, our hedge trimmers. Um, we've bounced around with steel hedge trimmers. We have bounced around with the homeowner, like Home Depot grade Echo weed whackers. Um, but in terms of leaf blowers, we have always upgraded to the next model every time Red Max came out with it. So these two on each end are new to us um we're not going to be we're, we're going to start them but we're not going to actually use them in this video like jim said part two is going to be we we'll wait for some leaves to come down so you saw us pick these up when we bought the skag fleet deal um they've been sitting ungassed none of them have been started they've been sitting down in the office and we haven't touched them specifically for this video um and yes we did specifically go out and buy each separate brand to make this video for you guys so that you can see which one you might like, uh, maybe you're in the market or maybe your friend's in the market, your company's in the market, whatever. You might be looking for what's the best on the market currently because there's some videos on YouTube that are showing like the 8010 versus the 8000 or the 8550 versus the BR700, whatever the next model's down, I'm not sure. There might be, there probably is a video out there, but we're gonna try and make this the most detailed video to help you guys out make your purchase of the biggest and baddest leaf blower on the market. Um, they all come down to finances. Each one of these costs a different dollar amount. Uh, each one of these has some different things that are cool and some different things that are not so cool about them. Um, they all blow leaves, they all have great power, but stay tuned for what we're about to get into. Um, part two, we're gonna get all these leaves from this bank here that have fallen over the past week, which these trees are falling like crazy. So by the time in two days when we get to the leaf blowing video, we should have a pretty decent sized pile in the driveway. We're probably gonna blow some leaves out of the woods a little bit to make um, the video. So if you can give us a thumbs up for that, that we're gonna be making a little bit more work for ourselves. Uh, we will finish it up with the Skag windstorm just to blow everything back into the woods. But uh, yeah, we did go buy these just for YouTube purposes. So our viewers, our subscribers, if you're new, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Um, we're always making videos like this, whether it's truck related, lawnmower related, leaf blower related, repair related. We're always making videos to help our viewers out, make their next purchase or their next dive into the business. Um, so where are we gonna start? We're not gonna put gas in them yet, but we'll, let's, we'll go left to right, right? Well, let's say what they are first, right? Yeah. We got a... So we have the Echo PB9010H. This is the top highest model that Echo has out on the market today and is considered by most the most powerful blower on the market, which we will find out. Um, this is the Red Max EBZ 8560. Uh, we have four 8550s. So uh, 
regardless of what we do here, whichever one we like, this is going to replace one of the 8550s. So this one we'll be keeping, and not sure what we're going to be doing with these yet after the video. And this is the Steel BR800. Um, this one has your regular pull start option, or they had a side start option. We just went with this just because we're probably not going to be keeping this one forever. Um, and this has the trigger um, up on the actual chute itself. Red Max offers that, and I'm not sure if Echo offers it. I think they do, but I'm not sure. I Once right off the bat, I'm not a fan of it being up here, because it's always these, for me at least, being six foot tall, right here, usually at the height of the shrub, and it's always getting snagged on the shrub and pulling on it, and it either rips itself out or it gets out of adjustment or it bends the cable. For comfortability, it is nice having it up here, but in terms of the cable, I'm not a fan of that, but it, it, if you're a homeowner, it would work completely fine. But if you're going property to property with dif different size uh, mulch beds and shrubs, it's up to you. It's a personal preference. Um, I'll start on the Echo. Yeah. Uh, right off the bat, something that I like and I don't like, uh, and you can give your opinion in a sec, Jim. The Echo has the biggest tube out of all of them, which means it moves more air. The air volume's greater. On paper, right? too. It's That's what it directly states. I think the tube here being so much wider, it's just going to put out more air volume. Oh, yeah. It looks wider on the inside, but once you get to the end, it looks the same as the Red Max. Yeah, I mean, maybe the diameter's a little bit more. Three and a half. Three and a quarter. So a quarter So inch. it is more. Yeah. Um, and, like, the length. If you go from, like, the elbow, let's say. Yeah four feet and you go from the elbow 44 so, so four, four inches, inches longer. longer so if you're say you're not like six foot you're not six foot three six four um hopefully if you're taller than that you're playing in the nba or in the nfl but let's say you're say you are five foot five six seven eight this tube might be too long where your arm might be, this thing might be dragging against the ground, which is why they have like a metal ring around it to protect the plastic. Yeah. Because uh, these Red Maxes like to wear out. Guys put them right on the ground, they wear holes in them and whatnot. Um, but if you're not, I mean, Jim, what are you, 5'10"? Yeah. So you, we'll see what you look like with this and how you like the feel of it. I forget what it feels like on my back, so it's gonna be a good refresher. But uh, I feel like this tube's gonna hit the ground. Yeah. Depending on your height and everything. And yeah. you're like your wingspan, like how far down you reach. And you want to measure um, that one real quick? Yeah, and then this one goes... This one is completely look different looking. Like the length. And I don't want to say we're favoring one or the other. I already know which one I like. It's the Red Max. Yeah. Just because it's what we're used to. Uh, we know it's comfortable. We can have them on our backs our entire day. We don't know about the Echo. It's probably a little bit heavier. The two being longer, I might be able to tolerate tolerate it you might not be jim who knows we, yeah, we, we, try don't, it. we don't know i've never tried it we don't know how much fuel these other two eat uh it takes we know the red max is an hour and five to an hour and ten of full yeah running until the tank's empty i don't know about the other two we also have the spec sheet i don't know if you're gonna throw it into this video or the next video maybe we'll do it in the next one but how much fuel goes in each one how many it's just first Whatever. impressions just get some yeah, thoughts I mean, from the bend down to here is 43. And look at the end of the nozzle though it gets smaller. Although some people say that it is increasing pressures. Yeah, I've or, heard that before. Um, and also if it wears out, the tip has another two inches to yep. wear out before you start having to replace that piece maybe versus yeah. this. This wears out, it just gets wider and wider from going here to here. Um, these pieces are very cheap. Assuming these are also cheap to replace if you had to. Now the thing I noticed when I was carrying this up the steps. I, I want to know this point on something too. The echo swivels. Yeah. Right? The actual downspout swivels along with the swivel joint. The bendy board. part. Yeah. The Red Max swivels and the bendy part swivels. This is loose. This is more stiff. So, I mean, it's going to come down to how tired is this going to make your arm if your backpack on. You're supposed to, you see some guys out there running into piles with their backpack bar going like this. Yeah. <laughs> supposed to let the machine do the work for you <coughs> to an extent sometimes you're blowing out acorns that you do have to blow faster to get the acorns to come up but uh i noticed that this this 90 downspout does not turn it's just the swivel so this is fixed at all times unless yeah, it's too tight now 
Oh, no, it does. There it goes. It might be a little bit too it's tight. Just from the factory, maybe? Yeah. Okay, I was going to say that's kind of... Yeah, I bad. think it's a little bit too tight, but yeah. Um, they all look to have very decent pads. With um, that being padding. said, I want to say something about the nozzle real quick. So these have two... Both of the Echo and the Red Max, from what I'm seeing, they have two replaceable parts on the end, whereas the steel only has one. So if you need to replace the ends, you're, I don't know, you could take that either way. One part to wear out versus two, or two pieces to replace than one. I don't I'd know. I'd rather replace one. I, I think I would too. Because once you get to the Red Max, we know once they wear out up to here, you're losing blowing volume because it's a little bit up higher. Yeah. Uh, so you need to replace this one. Um, and I do know when they get loose too, they're a pain in the butt. They all fall off. These You're... do. The red max right in here. We always end up taping them. Because yeah. these swivel slots, they have like a little plastic pin that stays stationary. When you swivel, it's supposed to lock. That doesn't last very long. Yeah. Um, this is just one tube out. I mean, like you said, you have room to wear it down. Uh, once again, that's probably all the minor details about these things. Um, we'll take a look at the fuel tanks on all of them. Yeah, and the padding. Yeah. Uh, fuel tank. I mean, Red Max Echo kind of looks similar. They have their carburetors with the air filter coming up to the top. Fuel tank on the left. Pull start. I mean, the design of these is the same. Similar. Yeah. These. This one has the the control on your left. Like I said, I'm not sure if they have it here. I think they do. Uh, someone can confirm that down low. I think they do. But that's that's a little. Has a little bit of flex in it, right? Flex. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yeah, I do like that. This folds up if you're in a shrub or an area where it's tight and you're a bunch of vines or thorns or something. This can flex without breaking. This cannot on the Red Max. It's going to break. Which we haven't broken one yet, but you necessarily don't have to fold it up to get through a tight area. You could just bend it in while mm -hmm. you're in the down position to get through. Yeah. Um, Fuel tanks are different sh shapes. It looks like the Red Max has more fuel capacity, but I think the Echo does. I'm yeah, not it's a little bit taller. I'm not sure. Deeper, maybe, too. Um, and then the, the, the steel is all under the cover. Everything to service it is underneath the covers versus external, like these two. No. So uh, if it runs fine, then you just have main, minor servicing to do. It should be no problem. Mm. Um, Where's the air filter on it? Here. No. Right there. Okay. But everything being inside, like the covers, is better than this getting snagged. The fuel, we've had fuel lines get snagged on our Red Maxes and get pulled out. Yeah. Like our return lines. Uh, same thing could happen here. It could get snagged on a branch or something could catch these clips. These are always breaking on our Red Max from being in the trailer. This is more compact. Everything's internal. Uh, that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, I'll put them on my back and see what I think of the three, and then we'll, yeah. I'll take the camera and you give them a shot. These straps are, huh. They're well padded. I'm gonna start with the Red Max just because I know what it feels like, and then I'm gonna go to the other two. Um, and like I said, I've run these my entire life, so I'm just used to the pad where it ends up on my back with the straps all the way out. Um, the tube doesn't hit the ground, even if I want it to. Unless I crouch down, but standing up, the tube does not hit the ground. So this is just comfortable for me. Um, I know what it feels like. It doesn't hurt my back. It's This is the straps all the way out. You could make it higher if you really wanted to. Um, but I'm just, I'm comfortable with this one. Yeah. Let's try the Echo next. The Echo also looks like it has a bigger housing, plastic yeah. housing. Um, okay. The Echo's definitely heavier, but it's comfortable. The straps up here are comfortable. Yeah. The front part of the straps. The back, about the same com comfortability as the Red Max. It's just this pad is, am I loosened up all the way? I think so. No, oh, I'm not. Oh. And I don't want it to be that low, but where I was, it was like sitting right under my lower back perfectly, right here. See, like this one, I'm standing up, this can hit the ground. Yeah. So if I'm out and about, I mean, mulch beds, this is a little bit too long for mulch beds, for me at least, I feel like. I feel like I'm going to be going around a shrub to try and blow 
tube's a little bit longer length. Yeah, go over to this bush maybe. And like if you're here and you're blowing out a flower bed and you're working your way out of the flower bed so you can feed your stand on blower. I mean like this might be good for reaching without having to move. Yeah. But if this whole thing is bushes and you're back here trying to like get in between, I'm not sure. Yeah. But maybe the power makes up for it. I don't know. You might not have to stand back in there. Yeah. Um, we're going to try it with these leaves tomorrow and see what it looks like. But comfortability, it's comfortable. It's definitely a little, a little bit, not a lot, a little bit heavier than the Red Max. And um, the shoot's longer, but it's comfortable. The positioning of the, this can be adjusted up and down this track. But it's comfortable. I can see myself using this for leaf cleanups every day. Um, well, let's jump over the steel. The steel, by the way, I think is the nicest looking one with all the covers in place. That's I what think I so think. Too. I think it looks the nicest. Ooh. I think the Echo is the ugliest one, but hey, it doesn't have to be pretty let's to get the job the done. Down. This is the, probably the most comfortable. Out of all of them? Honestly, yeah. The pad. No, let me see. It's not yeah. Like, yeah, this is this is definitely lighter than the Echo. I'd like to know the specs before I say anything and say the wrong info. I feel like this might be lighter than the Red Max also. Yeah. Um Dude, the shoot weighs nothing. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Depending on the power, this is more comfortable than the Red Max. Yeah. For me at least. And when you do it, don't be biased and take my opinion. No, I'm not. I, I want I, you to yeah. give your... This is... The shoe is lighter. Yeah. This feels like a piece of paper compared to those two. But once it comes... It comes down to power. Everything yeah, yeah. comes down to power. And productivity. Yes. Um, to me, know. it seems like steel... This, uh, it's, uh, this is the most user-friendly backpack blower out of these three. That's what I'd say. Because it's comfortable. It looks good. It seems more of like a homeowner, like more for that. But I mean, like I said, it's a commercial machine and it depends on how well it produces. I mean, it's, it could be a beast. I don't and know. It comes down to your, if you're using it for your company and you buy X amount of Red Max blowers, you can get the fleet deal through Red Max. You can get your weed, your weed whackers, your hedge trimmers, your pole saws, Red Max sells chainsaws. We all, I think in my my opinion, steel is the best chainsaw brand out there. Yeah. Uh, steel has the combi system. They have hedge trimmers. You can probably get the steel um, fleet deal through them for blowers. And I'm sure Echo does it also. Echo's weed whackers work fine. Their hedge trimmers work just fine. So uh, if you want to go the fleet route, I don't think you can go wrong with any one of these brands. Um, I'm going to try that one more time, then we'll flip the camera. I was going to say this is comfortable, but the tube's heavier. Yeah. I'm just used to Red Max, and I'm going to flip over to this, because this pad is like foamy versus rigid plastic, or rigid, uh, whatever that is. This. And these pads always fall off, too. Yeah, they do. I mean, this just works for me. It always has. It's never hurt my back, and I've always been comfortable. But then putting this blower on my back for the first time, it's got the lower back support and the upper coming up the sides. And the strap, it, dude, this is way lighter. Way lighter. Yeah. Watch on paper, this one's probably the heaviest. Or this one's probably the heaviest. Probably not. Quick shout out to Murphy in here. His fresh haircut, he's got his tie, he's going to school tomorrow. All right, we're going to get Jim's first impressions of having these blowers on his back. Which one do you like, honestly? Do I like the best? Well, uh, all you know is Red Max too, right? Yeah, I don't really Same thing know. with Papa Zig, it's Red Max. Yeah. I don't know. Pick I'll one. Try. Pick one before you even. Pick one. That you think is the most comfortable. If I was going to use it every day, I think I would pick that one. The steel? To use it every day. Uh huh. Um, like I said, I don't know. We don't know about durability with these other two. We haven't used them. Um, we know we know Red Maxes are we know easy to use, work on. Yeah, and that we chuck them upside down in the trailer. Not really, but you know they get hit by the mower once in a while, and they seem to hold up pretty well. I, I can't speak about these other two because we just, like we said, we haven't owned them. Mm -hmm. But the straps upside down. Yeah, it is. I wish that they could take some of these features and put them on all three. Yeah. Like put the flexi thing on one of them. Put this metal part on the bottom on the two on all of them. Put the power from this one into the other ones. I mean, it would just be 
What do you think about the padding and the comfortability? It's good. I, I think the back of it, well, I haven't worn the other two yet, but the back of it doesn't seem as heavy as I thought. But the, the tube it? has like a lot of inertia to get it to move back and forth. Like if you're moving this way, it takes a little bit more to... So would your arm get tired? I think it would going like this, but maybe you don't have to go like that if the power makes up for it. Maybe when you're blowing it too, the power helps the tube move. Yeah, maybe. So okay. I think... But the padding, what do you think? I think, I think this one is very comfortable actually. I think it feels very comfortable. I know what this feels like. Is, See the pads in this from newer, they're always so stiff. Uh -huh. They don't ever like to flex. Yeah, see now swinging the two back and forth. This is way lighter than this. Easier or lighter? Feel or that. Both. Lighter to move this. Yeah. I can already feel that. Um, Once we start them up and we try them, maybe yeah. we do check it again to see what. The, uh, the comfortability, uh, this one's definitely more comfortable, but the two, I just, I can feel the, the lack of uh, weight there. It feels better. And then, uh, let's see this one. Now, this is definitely the lightest tube. And it you seems so? to have more spring to it to move back and forth. But the, the back of it, I honestly feel like it seems no different than that. Really? The padding is maybe slightly more comfortable, but I think that they're similar. This feels exactly like that one, but the tube is just it's light. Yeah. Hmm. And I think that one had the heaviest tube, but that one was honestly, I think that was the most comfortable one to wear. Hmm. So our opinions are different. So yeah. everyone can take that as a grain of salt, if you want to say. Um, yeah. If that had a shorter tube, I think that one would be more comfortable. Yeah. But. Huh. So this tube is definitely smaller than all of them. The steel. Here. The steel has the smaller diameter on the tube. Yeah. Um, and it's one piece versus multiple sections. See, what yeah. really drives me crazy with Red Max, and I'm jumping all over the place because we have these sitting in front of us. On one of our Red Maxes, it broke right here the other day. Oh, the swivel. The swivel, right where this swivel. So you have to buy this whole piece. Take your handle off and put it on the new piece. It's only 30 bucks, but... Um, it broke off there it's worthless if you come over to here the swivel no, i'm not sure it looks similar that you would have to replace this piece now if you come over to the steel it also looks very similar but the swivel is this piece yeah. uh, it's, 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 it's the same piece. thing uh, so what are we gonna do gas these up and just... yeah let's see what they sound like and just more of the performance is going to happen in the other video, but we'll just see. Why don't we see. blow the leaves in the next video, but why don't we, when we run them, let's just run them here in the driveway and turn them on full throttle yeah, and move just the see. arm to see if it makes a difference. And All then right. we'll just wrap the video up and ask for everyone's opinion. Yeah. Right? We're going to use, everyone recommends to use the highest grade octane fuel with the proper mix for these. Red Max, we've always run regular 87 octane, right? Yeah. 89. I think 89 is a step up. 91 is the farther step up, right? No, it's 89, 91, 93, isn't it? I don't know. Whatever regular is. <laughs> we run regular in our Red Maxes, and they say to run plus or premium or whatever the highest grade is, and they run fine. <laughs> yeah, and then by the time you get to that fuel difference, just go buy another blower. Yeah. We run our Red Maxes for two years straight, usually, and then sell them for about half of what we paid for them. After all those hours, then we go buy another one. And um, we run Echo Mix and our Red Max blower, uh, just because we find it. It's just whenever we search for it, we always find the Echo in the box that makes five gallons. The mix, uh, the oil mix, the two-stroke mix. Um, but what we did do is we did get the highest octane fuel for this. We got a five-gallon can with Echo oil, and we're going to run them in this for the first start. Um, yeah, and they recommend. Especially for the Echo to put the high, the high, uh, high grade mix in it with the uh, the right mix, like the right oil, because they uh, supposedly they run a little bit hot, I think. Um, and so that's what we've heard. But the others, I don't know. But I guess it's better safe than sorry. I mean, you're just standing here looking. The steel looks like a doesn't look like a leaf blower. It looks like a robot. You can't even tell that that's a gas tank. 
kind of cool. Like it almost looks like the other two, they went down to the hardware store to buy each part. But this one, it looks like, I don't know, <laughs> looks like a Tesla of the leaf blower, but. All right, one more time, we, well, we shout them out. We got these three leaf blowers from Ford's lawnmower. Uh, these two came from their Piscataway location. Um, their Red Max and Echo dealers over there. And then their other location in Ford's, New Jersey. You want to show the sticker? Yeah. Because if you're local to New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, maybe even farther away, it's, it's definitely worth coming in to buy your equipment um, from Ford's. We bought, it's an hour from here, and we bought our whole Skag fleet deal. We bought our walker from them. We bought four Red Max 8550s two years ago. We our bought hedge weed trimmers. whackers, hedge trimmers, pole saw, you name it. Yeah. Um, Square barrel. Yeah, they have every brand there. It's just they don't have steel. They don't. Just, they do, just not at this look. Not at the Piscataway location. At the other location, they have steel. But at both locations, Walker, Toro, Xmark, Skag, the um, electric one, electric Hurricane blower. I mean, you name it. They have every yeah. single brand between the two locations. The uh, Mammoth, the Aryan's Mammoth, right? Yeah, that the, beast of the snow machine. Yeah, they have leaf loaders. They sell plows. They sell dump inserts. All right, let's check these out. Should we just start over here? Yeah. Start it up. All right, standard primer button on the bottom of the carburetor, just like the Red Max. Now the choke goes in or gets pulled out. Oh, it just stays. It's an auto choke, right? Okay. Is off, it? Off is up, and then our throttle goes down and it clicks off, see? Oh, yes. Auto choke. the tube doesn't feel heavy once it's running yeah it's just when you're holding it here it feels a little bit stiff but it's also new when it's running you only need a finger yeah to hold it it's got a lot of power you it can does. hear it i can feel it too on my back all right typical red max primer bulb choke i don't like these chokes they always get stuck on something weeks and in fact we have one that snapped off yeah they always it's, do it's easy to fix it's no big deal definitely has more power for sure i can feel it and this doesn't feel any different than the 8550 yeah to me we can try the two of those in a video tomorrow yeah i'd like to put same size rock in front of all of these and then do it with this also yeah and see, see what how, happens what's the difference between the two red maxes but okay this one's completely different uh choke no choke i'm not sure if the choke goes off when you On do the off gas. switch where is the the on off switch or no yeah right here and is that a throttle lock on it yeah they always wear out i think but but this is an auto choke which red yeah. max is not okay echo is so that's yeah. a whatever primer bulb right here and once again we don't know which one is for the long haul because we have never run steel backpack blowers like the newer ones we've had older ones in the past we also have never had echo blowers for the long term we've had echo uh, red max forever like we said you could literally accidentally ran regular gas through the one the other day uh for what 20 seconds and yeah. then corrected it and it still is fine but um let's see i don't know what this is going to sound like this is easy to pull though a lot yeah. easier than those two <laughs> yeah, it sounds so different it's quiet though, isn't it? It's lighter. Yeah. I like it. I do. It's 
It idles nice, but I don't like the sound of it at full throttle. Yeah. It's too loud. I don't know. I think it's, it's not that loud. It's comfortable. It's got a good amount of power. It, that's more than I thought. The Echo wins the power battle. Yeah, easily. Heads down, just easily. by not even blowing leaves. Yeah. Comfortability? You're saying the Echo? Yeah, I still think. I Minus say the two. Yeah. If you want to be safe and go in the middle, I still like the Red Max. Yeah, really I, I put the the Red Max isn't the most comfortable. I think that's the least comfortable. Yeah, but I agree with that. I'm going to say out of durability of what I see holding up just to, I mean, we could, we're not going to get to drop it and stuff. We don't want to break them, but I'm just saying, I think we're not dropping these. I think that either one of these i think would do pretty good on a drop test i think if you drop that pretty hard that orange cover on the back would break these break like crazy though. yeah i, I think the air filters on these would break if you drop this i don't think that would happen uh, the handle might break but i don't know it seems like this one's protected way better than these other two another side note what i would think if if i was buying a blower for our business right now we have the stand on blowers, right? So we only need these backpack blowers to clear the beds yeah. around the foundation, blowing off decks. So we don't need all the power in the world. Power's nice. If you don't have a stand on blower, you can get away blowing this whole thing off. And if you want the biggest, the most power, Echo is hands down. Get the get get the Echo blower for the most power. Yeah. If you don't, if you can't afford it at the time, or you don't ever think you'll have a need for a stand on blower, um, but for for me. If we were to have to go buy six of these right now, I would buy Red Max just because that's what we know. We know how we know what fails on them, which is the carburetor and the air filters sometimes get gunked up. Um, the handle, little, maybe. yeah, little plastic pieces break and stuff. But for us, Red Max. If you have a stand on blower for us, we would go buy six more Red Maxes because we're gonna go around. We're gonna kick the mulch, the stone beds, mulch beds out with the leaves, and then the stand on blowers is gonna do the rest of the property. Um, but if you're not up to the stand on blower part yet of your business, which is no problem, get the Echo because then you can still blow large areas of grass like this. Might take you a little bit longer, obviously, than a stand on blower, but it's 600 bucks maybe versus 12 to 15,000 for a stand on. If you can't afford that route yet, get the most powerful blower on the market. Yeah. If you don't like the Echo, still get a Red Max or a Steel. It's still going to blow the leaves very far. We could just sum this video up real quick. I wish, out of the three blowers, if we could piece these together. Take the wear ring on the end of the Echo. For me, take the padding of the steel or the Echo. And take... I don't know what we're going to take from the Red Max. Just the reliability, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. The fuel tank. The, I, I'm a Red Max guy. But it could go either way. If, yeah. I don't want to keep repeating myself. If I was to have to go buy the biggest blower on the market, it would be that one, that, the Echo. And from personal experience, if I had to go buy, hey, maybe you're going to buy a steel chainsaw and a steel weed whacker. Pick up a steel blower. It'll work just fine for you. But for us, we run Echo, or we run Red Max. Yeah. Uh, do you want to start them up real quick? No, I won't. I'll just say my combination, I think. I think ideally, or which one I would like well i like the comfortability of that i wish i wish the comfortability of that could be basically with a shorter shorter tube and a little bit lighter that's all i would say but then i i i just look at this thing i don't i feel like just off my initial like go over it of it i the bottom looks flimsy maybe that's not the case but i just feel like overall the machine looks cheap it looks very flimsy and crack and like the, the plastics would crack. Maybe the, the Red Max does the same. And But yeah, I, I think if I was going to buy one uh, for what we do, it would be either one of these two, just with the gardens. But if I was going to do the open, like I said, and you said, that one I would buy. But the prettiest one of them all is the steel. Yeah. kind of want to just hang it up in the man cave. It looks good. It looks cool. Yeah. Um, all right, well, let it, you're going to put a poll on this video, right? Yeah. Put a poll. Which one... Maybe do you guys own? Throw it in the comments. We'd love to hear from everyone what their specific brand choice is. Maybe you have one of the three of these and you live and die by it. Maybe you don't have either one of the three of these and you'd love to pick one. What would your opinion be just upon this video without even us blowing leaves? Just by starting it and going over some of the specs and everything. Yeah. Um, 
but give us your feedback subscribe if you're new please give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next video because we're going to have a pretty decent sized pile of leaves in the driveway that we are going to probably take the blower blow it up to the light post maybe blow it back and test it out each different ways yeah maybe some rocks uh, rocks don't really prove anything and yeah. it proves the the power but we're going to just do some different obstacles of blowing stuff maybe we'll put a branch in the driveway just different stuff like that um and then maybe as the fall goes on and we do end up keeping these three we can know get a better idea what breaks what's the comfortability like after using it for say two days in a row versus 20 minutes which what we're going to do here but um that'll yeah. wrap it up right yeah maybe we're wrong i i don't know our this is our initial opinion that's the whole point of the video but yeah. we'll find out more as we go on with them but yeah please give this video a thumbs up we spent a good amount of money on the three of these blowers for you guys our youtube uh, viewers subscribers our um audience um, yeah so and if anyone's interested in the 8550s we have for sale we're going to be probably selling two of them at least they're a year and a half they're not even two years old yet but we're going to use these for the fall um or maybe someone's interested in buying one of these shoot us an offer um we're not going to let them sit all winter long not use them whatever we'll end the video on that